line with a fill and some harmonics thrown in. I first play this a hammer on from the open D string to the open E string. from the G, open A string, and a hammer on from the open A string to the B, so it's up to D string, let me see, so it's a from the E to the F sharp. And maybe you can use two fingers, one finger at the B and one at the E. What do I do? Maybe. I actually slide with the third and play the, the, the E here from the F sharp to the E. And then I do a quick shake. I think it's called. It's achieved by sliding your finger just above the fret and back a couple of times. It's actually one, two. You can also use a trill. Or nothing at all. So it's uh, from the start, it would be. Three and four and then it like repeats itself after two E's. And then comes the harmonics. It's just your first finger across fifth fret. Here and the minor 
seventh. So it's what's the last one? That's a fourth actually. So that would be a E minor eleventh chord. Okay. Anyway, three, four. Starts again. And now comes the fill. And lately I've been inspired a lot by gospel players. Um, they fill all the time. Great fills. And one of my, uh, my, my uh, biggest inspiration for that kind of, of, uh, of, of bass playing is Sherry Reed. And, um, and this fill is also comprised of a little of the style of his by using a lot of hammer-ons and pull-offs, more legato type of playing. And the fill is starting on the D on the A string, hammer-on, three, and then play the G, slide from the G to F sharp. So when we're in the minor chord here, E minor, it's actually the flat seventh to the root note, minor third to the ninth. It's very typical. Many gospel players use the ninth a lot, and it sounds really cool. And then again, a hammer on from the D to the E. And because I'm sliding here to the F sharp with my first finger, I need to use my second finger as a hammer start and it's a bit more hard to hammer on with your second finger to your pinky than it is with the first and the third but we have to do that because I'm doing this slide and I don't have time to go down to the first finger again so that's the start of it let me just play some of the the bass line to get into the the feeling of the field Starts with a pickup to the one, so it's one, two, three, four. One, one is on the E, so it's a sixty-note pickup to E. So that's what we got. And then after the hammer on, we have uh, the A on the E string, the first finger, and bar to the D on the A string. So it's Three, four, and then we have a B on the E string. So it's three, four, and after that we have, after the B, we have the open E. Instead of a hammer on, just play a, because I, in ideal circumstances, I would play a hammer on from the open E to the F sharp. But actually, I cannot, I don't have time to do that. So it's just open E, A, and then F sharp. So up until now, the fill, three, four. After the F sharp comes, let's just play the whole thing again, three and four. Then a open A and then the G. So it's maybe we can squeeze that. 
that hammer-on in. So the whole fill slowly is three, four. It's hard down here. When we have played the open A, it's hard to mute that A, open A string to play the open E. So, the part of the group with the fill, three, four, three, four. See the G? Do a bit of vibrato there. that open A string just before the open E string. I do a short, I just put my finger down. Sometimes I remember. So up until now the groove with the first harmonic and the, the fill sounds like this. Three and four and Same as here, same notes, just an octave above. It's a bit easier because we don't have the open strings here. Just bar. Then I use a slide. Thank mm -hmm. you. 